What's up everyone, how's it going? In this game, we have Vanderdorf Square as our green rust spawning in the west side of Golden Pit. Down here in the southeast, we have Maddots as our pink Japanese. Haven't casted one of these in a bit, so hopefully it goes pretty well. Vanderdorf is a pretty solid player. Eh, both of them are pretty solid players. players. Uh, this is Vanderdorf's second account. His first one is generally top 200. I believe this one is making its way up there as well. Maddox, he hovers. The highest I've seen him was probably about 120 something, I believe. I'm not entirely sure where he is at, at the moment of posting this video, but this should still be a pretty good game, all things considered. Okay. No Dark Age Tawara for Maddots. It's kind of 50 50 standard between whether or not the Japanese player will get Dark Age Tawara or wait until during Age Up in order to get it. You all know where I sit on that situation. Absolutely not the Dark Age Scout opener for Vanderdor. Already getting quite a bit of hit. Got this one as well. Not yet. We'll be running into it though right now. So that's one scout. Not the second scout. Okay. Won't be able to see the bounty until I switch over to the other view, which really sucks. Fix this that way in caster, uh, in caster mode, we'll be able to see everything. We only got the single scout from our Japanese player, so he is gonna be slightly behind in terms, uh, in terms of sheep, since Hydrogorf did go for the triple scout opener. Obviously, for Russ, you kind of want to go scout. Not necessarily for the sheep, but for all the bounties. The sheep is just a bonus. He has four on this one, I believe. Two on that one and then two on this one as well. So that's eight sheep already that he's getting up. Or that he's basically stolen. Hot enough. <laughs> because those a majority of those sheep were on at its side of the map. And we have the current storehouse coming up for Matt. Or for more, uh, for Maddox, our Japanese player. There goes the Tawara. Kremlin. He placed in quite a vulnerable position. Up there, it is going to secure the boar plus the deer and berries. So don't get me wrong, it's still a really, really nice spot for it. Just not gonna be very defensive. Well, defending your base. Once you start getting into the higher levels, you'll be able to start doing this. As you all know, I tried to give a little bit more recommendation to the lower levels that do watch. Uh, I would honestly rather play it safe. Kind of that guy's just going and just throw it up. Probably around. Here, or just in between the berries yeah like right here that way it defends berries stone second stone or later on in the oh, game and then the one stone here, you can drop a wooden fortress because you're only ever going to want eight villagers over here anyway in order to take the, the huntable boar and then actually you could just pull or over here next to the uh, next to the deer, multiple cabinet, and then you just have so much food there. Yeah, that's what I would recommend for those of you watching. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Making the board of your first instead of the other. Second, he's doing it. It already has six villages. So, after this one, 
That should have been the first thing we got instead of the gear. Yeah. Maybe since it's safer, it feels like you need to grab that. Got first. off, yes, and still on the TTV. Maybe that's what it is. It feels that it's safer, so he's gonna go grab the gear. That's the only thing I can think of. Moose. Hope Okay, so now Vanador sitting on two early nights and a archer does want to find some more pressure in his So, meanwhile, Maddox is sitting only on three spears. Which is, uh, not enough to deal with the knights, the early knights, quite yet. Once he starts hitting like five or six, then it'll be a little scary for Vanador to actually jump in and the charge does go off another one as well. He backs off his spears. And now, under fire. Charge going off. Will land. Unable to kill it, but the villager needs to get killed. It's getting very, very low. Outpost finishes up. Villagers need to jump in. Four villagers. Five villagers. Harrison. Hearing, I got a subscriber. <laughs> uh, Vanador currently sitting on 33, 34 villagers, 13 military, seven archers, four knights, and three scouts. At its 43 villagers, but only three military. Yes, two spears and a single samurai out as of right now. He has double kills. His eco is going to be very solid compared to Maddox. It's just depending on whether or not he's going to be able to hold the attacks. Is he going to go into 
castle. He's almost there. Or is he gonna try to stay in the for a little bit more in order, or until to cure enough to jump into castle? It does look like he's gonna go into castle though. He's on 1200 feet, bank, and 600. And this in the back. And where is Mabel? Because it's just gonna go for an infantry flood. That wouldn't be too bad either. But I see a lot of Castle Age just yeah, crap out of mounted samurai style builds. That's basically all we see out of the Japanese now. So this is a little uh, brush of fresh, fresh air. Going into a two GC Really like it. Yoki Siagari. Nanzo Yakuza. Already out of the berries. Almost out of sheep. He does need to try to transition over. Honestly, I would like to see him just. Yoki Siagari. There was very little that Maddox could have done right there with the amount of uh, military he had. Both of those emplacements, like, actually, no, I take that back. He could have actually held that a lot easier as long as he defended or as long as he killed off the ram initially. Without killing off that ram, then he wouldn't. Or if he killed off that ramp, then Vanderdorf wouldn't have been able to get rid of both the outposts as quickly, and the defense would have been a lot better. But since he wasn't able to kill off the ramp, they just did way too much damage to the outposts. Even though that, even though they were fortified, it was just too much damage. And now we have two rams out, thirteen archers, seven early knights, horsemen. For Vanderdorf, 24 military against five, and behind this, he is going into the high trade house. 16 villagers are throwing that up. That is a terrible high trade house. That's not gonna give him anything. Yeah, no, that's that's a really, really terrible trade house. Well, good thing he's gonna be winning pretty soon, so it's not gonna make that big of a difference. Yeah, that's like. 20 trees. 
36 trees. Is. Really? That doesn't look like 36 trees. GG does get called. Game goes to our green Russ player, Vanderdorf. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time.